Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May, okay? So this is for May. Sorry, May. What do we got for May? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for May? May, 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 Gemini. What do we have for May? Happy birthday to those of you born in May. What do we have for Gemini? Ooh, it came out reversed. We got to take it reversed. So, uh, this is the heart chakra, and there's a lack of self-love, okay? This is a lack of self-love. You need to love yourself. You may be looking for love, right? You're, need, you're in need of love, looking for exterior love. Try loving yourself, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, putting yourself first for a minute. Perhaps in May, you need to love yourself. And I mean really, 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 really love yourself. You be that child's mother, okay? You, your, your inner child. That's what self-love is about. Self-love is about nurturing that child within you. Go back to when you were 10. And give that 10-year-old all the love that it was lacking. All the attention. So for the month of May, you take care of you. You put you first. You love yourself. There's a lack of self-love. And somebody's heart is screaming for it. If you don't love yourself, don't expect somebody else to love you. Not fully. It's like, I feel like you're looking for somebody to complete you. 11. That equals 11. That 38 equals 11. So that means I want somebody to complete. Nobody completes you. You complete you. You complete you. Your soul is whole. And you complete you. There is not one other person in this world that completes you. You complete you. And when you realize that, everything else falls into place. You think about the nine of pentacles, okay? That's somebody who is enjoying life. Somebody that is stable and solid and secure and knows their value and has worked really hard to obtain success and uh, is very valuable. Everybody can see it. If this person becomes the pick, becomes uh, highly respected because of their... Um, high self-esteem, their high self-worth, their ability to uh, be independent and take care of themselves. So I think there's, there's definitely a need to take care of yourself in May. You are very capable. You are very capable. There isn't nobody that is going to love you and take care of you like you are going to do it yourself. Your heart chakra needs some work, okay? Nine of Cups reversed and the Six of Wands. So this is dissatisfied. So not happy. I, mean, I got to be honest with you, and I'm very much Gemini. This is somebody who's not happy. They're not satisfied. It's like, this isn't what I wished for. I was hoping for something more. Now, being recognized for who you are. So I think that you have a lot of people that respect you. You um, have a lot going for you. You, some of you may be in the public eye or a lot of people are watching you or maybe you have some people that are under you 
or um, you're a leader of some sort, I feel like you are definitely highly respected and you need to hold your head up high and be proud of your accomplishments. You may not be happy. You may feel like you're never, your prayers are never going to be answered or you're never going to be satisfied or, you know, uh, something like that. But I feel like you have been through some, some, <laughs> some sort of situation that was hellish, okay, and you've survived. So I feel like you need to be proud of who you are and where you've came from. You have a lot of people that support you. So May, May, I think that you are recognized for your hard work. You're recognized for your nobility. You may not see it though. You may not. You may not see that you have so many supporters. That you have so many people that admire you. But you really, really, really do. Okay. Um, Ooh, the devil. So the devil is unhealthy behavior. It could be self-sabotage. You could be self-sabotaging yourself. You may be in a situation for codependent reasons. But not happy. Not happy at all. We have, That nine of cups is not happy. Now this is toxic. It is unhealthy. Um, it's based on greed. There's some sort of a set obsession here. Something is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. Somebody is in an unhealthy situation that they are staying in uh, for codependent reasons. Not making them happy. They're not happy. You're not happy. Somebody's not happy. But there's a feeling of... Uh, worried about what everybody else is going to say. Perhaps you, you do have a lot of followers or you have a lot of people that are watching you or you have a lot of people that have uh, encouraged you to go a certain route or have watched your journey or have watched you get into this situation that you're in and you may be worried about what they're going to say. You know, they all supported that action. You did it and now shit. Now you're stuck there. Now you're tied to it. There's a lot of social pressure. There's social pressure to stay in this unhealthy situation that is very dissatisfying. Whatever it is. Um, the hair of font reversed. So you may be in a commitment. It could be a marriage. You could be in a situation with somebody who's not very spiritual. This person is very controlling. Uh, definitely under a lot of social pressure. So you are under a lot of social pressure to stay put. To uh, keep doing what you are doing. Even though I don't think it's making you happy. There's a relationship that is no longer on the same page. And I feel like you're staying in this relationship. Perhaps because of everybody else. Social pressure. A lot of social pressure. Um, you know what people do a lot is they post something on Facebook. Facebook is a nightmare, by the way, because it keeps people stuck. That's your social pressure or Instagram or something like that. That you know they're in a relationship with this person. It's all it's all dandy, fun and games or whatever. This is just an example, and then it doesn't work out, and you feel like a fool. You know, so that could be the situation here I don't know and it doesn't have to be relationship it could be some sort of status because this is about status it, there is some sort of status change here and I think that it's a, it's, a, it's this change in status is disheartening okay it's disheartening because of what society is gonna think you know it's not about society it's about your heart it's about what your heart wants okay you don't need somebody this per I think it's like whoever this is, it's like this person doesn't complete you and you probably feel it, but you don't want to tell anybody. Um, if your heart is not being fulfilled, then you need to break free from this. It's not going to be easy. You got to face your own demons. You got to face your own ego. This is a card of ego. Somebody may have let their ego get in the way and they posted something or they shared something with their supporters and now um, they're really unhappy. There's a lot of baggage here. Somebody is carrying a heavy weight. They're carrying a heavy burden. Um, overwhelmed. 
overwhelmed, trying to prove something. We got somebody here that is trying to prove, and this is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. There's some sort of addictions here as well. There's addictions, and this is heavy weight. So for some of you, um, you may need to lose weight. Okay? Addictions may be getting the best of you. Some of you could be putting on weight and you need to master your emotions. And that is, is kind of, I mean, the, the heart chakra in reverse. It's like you, maybe you're, you're feeling um, unloved and people, what do they do? What do they do? They, and the addictions don't have, doesn't have to be food. There's some sort of addiction here that somebody is holding on to. It's masking their emotions. It's, uh, what are people, what is that called when people are, you know, they're not feeling loved or they're discouraged or something. They bury their feelings or their emotions and addictions. Yeah, that's what happens. So I think there's some sort of addiction that is getting the best of you because you're masking your true feelings. Okay, anyway, that's what I feel. Knight of Swords reversed. Now the Knight of Swords is negative. Something is out of control. We have somebody here that is extremely overwhelmed, and uh, this is dangerous. They could be go lead being led, getting themselves into a dangerous situation. Something to do with a relationship. We have a. We have a relationship here. We have somebody here who's just looking for happiness, just looking to have, I want to have it all. I want to have happily ever after. But you may be dealing with somebody who is rude, somebody that is arrogant, somebody that is boastful, somebody that is mean. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't care who they hurt. This person is dangerous. They move, drive fast. They, they, they act recklessly. They do stupid things without thinking. Some of you, somebody, somebody here is probably in some sort of commitment with somebody that is very arrogant, very uh, selfish, uh, explosive, blames everybody else but themselves, doesn't take ownership for their actions. This person is under a lot of social pressure to um, be in control. We have somebody here that has a really big ego that... Um, this person is out of control. And for some of you, you're in a relationship with this person. And I think you're overwhelmed with holding on to it. It's like you want to let it go. But, you know, society is aware that you are in some sort of commitment to this. And so it's like, shit, shit. I wish I probably didn't share that with everybody. Five of Cups reversed. So Five of Cups reversed is prolonged grief. Um... Moving on, deep depression. Somebody may be in a deep depression. Um, burying their feelings and addictions, whether it's food, drugs, alcohol, something like that. Or even codependency. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Not realizing that there's another opportunity for love if you start stop focusing on the disappointing situation so somebody has another opportunity that they are missing they are sabotaging it they are sabotaging it holding on to something uh definitely that is weighing them down somebody is being weighed down by some sort of obsession and it could just be codependency um you need to find your strength and your willpower to restrain yourself and overcome your ego, overcome your pride. Uh, I feel like we have somebody here that is going to... Um, find, their, as I find their determination to overcome this. Time to withdraw, retreat, go within. This is withdrawing. Coming up with a plan and following through. So I think that we have somebody here that, that starts out in a... It's almost like a desperate situation where things have gotten out of control. And it could be overeating or it could be drugs or you're with a partner or you're with somebody and things are just crazy. It's crazy. And it's all because there's a lack of love. And I think this is about regaining control. 
taking back control. It's about uh, restraining yourself from overdoing it. Taking a time out, going within, planning your next move, setting goals. It's time to withdraw. It's time to reflect. It's time to go within. It's time to come up with a new plan and follow through. So I feel like in May, you will be restraining yourself from over doing it, whatever you've been doing. You'll be mastering your emotions and breaking free from something that uh, you... This is really... You've been... You've been um, overdoing it in some way. Going overboard. Either overeating or doing, you know, drugs or drinking or something like that. Or you've been in some sort of commitment that was very toxic. This is an unhealthy situation. Very unhealthy. And I feel like you are going to go within, master your emotions and take back control. I think you're going to take back control of whatever this situation is. And I think you're going to do so out of self-love. But it starts out with a lack of self-love. But I feel like you somehow find your determination to uh, pull it together. And do what's right for you and you only. Because this is you and you only. You may be re re retreating or withdrawing from something that is emotionally disappointing. Fuck society. Yes. Be willing to shed the old, to bring in the new. This is a yes. Taking action to be successful. Taking your power back. Finding the willpower. Your willpower is going to come back. You're going to take charge. You're becoming self-aware. You are going to become focused again. So you're going to be taking the power back. You're going to be finding the resources within you to be successful. After being in a situation that uh, really took you down for a minute. You were really overwhelmed. I think you went overboard. And now you are taking back your power. You're regaining control. And you're getting back on track. So it starts out rough. But it ends on a positive note. So I feel like in May, that's when things start to change. You regain your power, you regain control, you master your emotions, and you start to restrain yourself from this toxic situation that is uh, that you have let go. It's like you've let it go. You've let this go on. You've got things have gotten out of control, and you. It's like I think that you just are like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm taking back my power. I'm taking back my control. Either you support me or you don't. But this is what I'm doing. Good luck.